Hello and welcome at Stocks Advisor channel, yet our channel we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US-based stocks. In today's episode, we will talk about Charger Capital Corporation 4, traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker name CCIV. Well, CCIV today uh, is showing a significant upwards move with uh, ending the day with the white candle, although started lower than previous uh, close and actually having some upwards and downwards uh, can, uh, shadows here and being RSI almost 85.10. So, of course, the question is what's next? Although overall bullish parameters are seen here and we are starting the second, uh, actually the, even not the second, but the fourth leg up after having uh, many days a uh, nice upwards move starting from uh, 11 of January. We see this constantly upwards going wave with steps and today we started a fourth leg up. Of course, the question is, will it continue like that? Because if you look the price action, it's from the areas of about 8, uh, 38 towards uh, 54 plus. So really significant move. And the question is, can we go further? Of course, these kind of moves are not just based on, uh, let's say, only technicality. It's also news involved. And today there was a news that uh, CCIV stocks reports it's a nearing deal with uh, Lucid Motors. So of course, on this positive news, we see a significant uh, grow up, but after hours, we're trading already minus 2%. And looks like this is a just a news player, meaning that the news is there, news is played out, but we still need to make a profit on the news. And also from technical point of view, what looks a little bit scary here is upwards and downwards shadows that could be seen on this um, candle and also the fact that we started lower than yesterday so it means that actually we almost volatile inside of yesterday uh, no i mean not yesterday of course but the previous trading session day and this means that we could do the same again so if you would ask how to play here uh, this is mainly a volatility game although other parameters are still very positive if you look at moving averages as always we have Today we have two moving averages depicted, it's moving average 20 and 50 being blue and green line here and we don't have moving average 200 as usually we do it our charts because still not enough uh, data to develop it. And um, looking at the volume, you see there is significant volume traded previous and today's trading sessions. So after that, usually we have a series of declines. Also, uh, this was actually observed in previous situations. After two days volume uptrend, we see a major decline, for example, by uh, end of January, the same was in mid of February, uh, and now we might observe the same. So with this being said, this is purely volatility play. And before we start discussing, always speaking of profit taking at our channel, we advise 10 to 15 percent. So that's how we judge also if the advice, uh, well, the opinion that was given at the, cha at the channel is uh, was correct. And if uh, we also count it as a profitable, if it's 10%, that's also our trading strategy. So we never go higher because it's better to be consistently trading. We also post many videos daily, so you can always find something else. So either re-enter or to, uh, let's say, go to another stock. So this is the target. If you do it monthly, believe me, you will make uh, two, three times a year of your profit, of your portfolio profit, which is very significant move. So with this being said, how to play here, because uh, don't forget for a, a company with a market capitalization of about 13.6 billion, these moves uh, are too fast. And of course, if you look, we started just from 11 of January, we went more than five times, which cannot hold that long. And we should have some major, uh, let's say, correction at least. And uh, looks like by after hours, we at least entering to volatility level. So with this being said, of course, the classical way to play, it's starting, start entering in the one third of the candle, which would be here somewhere at the level of 42, a little bit lower, which coincides with the previous uh, high of the previous day. So everything below that until uh, 36, uh, the volatility will be a nice entry uh, for uh, tomorrow being actually volatility levels v1 and v2 that's how you can enter as the first instance instance here and uh with this being said if we write it here actually uh with the numerical representation these would be the levels of uh, 36 to uh so uh 36 to uh 42 to enter and then um 
actually if it goes up again once it's 10 percent to 15 percent profit take the profit if not then of course we need to be prepared for averaging down although you can see that moving averages 20 and 50 are here are extremely accelerative so their second derivatives are much higher than zero and they're also pointing upwards very fast uh, so before we have real bending of them um, some time will pass and still it's not expected that they will bend immediately so we could still play on volatility but should we decline further of course we can just enter at lower levels starting purely average down uh, support play here and there are very strong levels to play so one um, will be at the just below uh, 28 here so at this height and then the top of it would be at 30 so it will be 28 uh, so 27 80 let's say 30 being the support levels s1 and s2 and these were also confirmed by this very nice volatility channel it's immediate buying those uh, tools so if price goes there you can immediately start averaging down why this would be very strong point although uh, maybe we won't go there just finishing volatilities at v1 v2 these would be very strong because also moving average 20 will be much higher than those and actually uh, the moon average 50 will be just catching up so it will be just between these two moon averages which is usually on these fast uptrending lines is a very uh, positive area to enter for possible rebounds and again to remind you our price our profit aim is 10 to 15 percent don't be too greedy again don't stay too long because on these fastly moving charts you can also decline very fast down and should we go further not expected at all might be only with a quick and rapid negative catalyst kicking in but you never know if this comes as well so for that if, if taking place we need to be prepared for really serious and deep averaging down and these would be between the levels of 17 and 22 which is a, another clear uh, support level making it channel s3 s4 uh, channels are quite broad here that's true but uh, we also need to understand that the price action is also very very high here so with this being said uh, let's say the third entry opportunity the average down mainly only by catalyst driven would be between 18 and 22 if ever comes and then it should rebound still it's uh, not possible to speak of any long-term trading because if the major correction will take place we still need to see what trading channel will happen but some correction should take place because after this long period of being overbought um, the price of course no need to so the major profit takers start exiting will start exiting slowly and the, this would, would cause the major decline of the price maybe still will volatile but uh, this should happen and once this happens then we can speak of channel trading so discussing of channels lowers and highers possibilities to enter but for now it's purely a volatility game here therefore be prepared take profit in time and whenever you have a rebounds just take opportunity don't stay too long so that's how to trade with a cciv at the moment this is the table for uh, those who like a numerical representation if you are more for graphical ones then you can use this uh, chart just make a screenshot of this one and speaking of how to trade again this is fast moving uh, and still positive so we can trade classical one two two meaning that the money you would like to play here you can split in five portions and then you can buy in first area with one portion with two portions in the second circle and average down if needed again with two portions in the last circle and profit target is 10 to 15 percent so that's the way to play speaking of MACD uh, we can quickly touch it but it's non-informative at all it's just still keeping being on upwards positive move but this move here and MACD is very fast so it could create so-called triangle decline meaning that it just goes straight down and the same price could go for major correction level so be careful still it's not given that we are not going up it's possible but here you should be also very cautious do not forget this incredible move of the price from the levels of 10 or even sub 10 to 54 level and uh, these usually should also trade back at certain moment with this being said that's all for um, cciv to trade uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already check other videos of us and by the way let's stay connected you can find us on different social medias like facebook instagram also you can check our free mobile application for android devices called stocks advisor 
You can find it in the description to this video. With this being said, good luck and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor channel.